Hello everyone, this is Kathy, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you. Today I'm starting a new series on either craft fair items that you can make inexpensively. These can also be used for teacher appreciation gifts, stocking stuffers, Thanksgiving gratefulness gifts, and the like. So the first thing we're, I'm going to show you that we'll make today is this cute notepad uh, journal made with notepads you can purchase at the Dollar Tree. I adapted this idea from Posh Lady. She has a great channel. Stop by and see what she does. Okay, let me show you what it is. It has an elastic closure. And it's simply a notepad. These are, these are notepads that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. And here it has a little pocket. I put an extra journal in, extra notepad in. And a little spot to place items. Okay. Let's get started. I'll show you what you'll need. First of all, to start out with, you need to um, purchase these mini writing tablets. They come five to a pack from the Dollar Tree. So very reasonably priced. You're going to use one or two in each journal that you make or each notepad holder that you make. You're also going to need two eyelets, some elastic cord, glue, double-sided tape, and a hole punch, or something to put your eyelets in with. And you'll need some craft board. And your craft board is going to be cut in the following measurements. Two pieces at three quarters of an inch by five quarters of an inch. One piece at two and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And two pieces at three and five eighths inches by five and a quarter inches. That's the craft board that you'll need. And I've already covered mine with double-sided tape. You're also going to need some card stock. You'll need one piece that measures at two and an eighth by three and a half. One piece that measures 11 by 12. And one piece that measures at seven by five and a half. And when we get there, I'll give you the score marks again, but you're going to score down the long side at a half an inch on each side and then along the short side at three and a quarter and three and three quarters. Okie doke, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is cut your craft board. I've already cut my craft board. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to add double-sided tape to the back. I find that double-sided tape is the most secure you also could use tape runner supplemented with wet glue, but I think this is the best for binding. Next, I'm going to take my piece of cardstock that's 11 by 12 inches, and I'm going to turn it over so that the good side is facing down. Oh, and this, uh, I love this paper pack. It's by Stamperia called Patchwork. You can find it on Amazon sometimes for a little cheaper, but as you know, or you might not know, Stamperia is not inexpensive, but I love their designs. So the first thing you're going to do after you've put the double-sided tape on is we're going to measure, we're just going to make sure it's going to fit. 
and I'm going to start up at one inch, about one inch from the bottom. I'm gonna use this line right here, it'll help me. And I'm going to take my two and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece, make sure it fits. And I'm going to put it approximately a quarter inch from the left hand side. Next to that, I'm going to put three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter, right next to the other one, leaving about an eighth of an inch in between. Next piece is the three and five eighths by five and a quarter, leaving approximately an eighth of an inch in between. Then three quarters by five and a quarter, And the last piece, which is three and five eighths by five and a quarter. And it worked out well because I have about a quarter of an inch on the side. Next thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is remove my tape and stick the sucker down. Remember about a quarter of an inch from the edge and about an inch from the bottom. Next piece. Same thing about an eighth of an inch from the piece before. Whoop. Making sure they're lined up correctly. And continuing until all the pieces are down. This to me is the hardest part. <laughs> Although it's working okay with this pokey tool. My Cricut supplies come in handy. And last but not least, okay. too close. Okay. Next thing I want to do is take the top piece and just get it used to the fact that it's going to be folded just like that. Then what I want to do is throw away all this trash first. We're going to miter the corners. going to do that simply by clipping as close to the corner as I can. And the same thing here, we're going to cut 
a V here. That was something I learned from the posh lady. Whoops. I'd never done this before. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take tape and I'm going to put it around the corners, but this time I'm going to use a tape runner. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to fold the ends in first. Take my bone folder, if I can find it. Where's my bone folder? Oh, it's right here on my white table. It's white and I didn't see it. Same thing on this side. That's my dog, he knows I'm filming. He wants the spotlight. And then I'm going to make sure my corners are tucked because I don't want any little edges out. Okay, just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some double-sided tape and put it right on the edges. That's to give it a nice snug fit. Let me do it this way. I get my double-sided tape um, Actually from Wish, I'm sure they probably have it at AliExpress. AliExpress delivers much faster, but I find it's much less expensive to get it from those places. Okay. I'm also going to take some tape runner right along the side here, the edge. Okay. Take these off. Get my fingers unstuck. Okay. So I wanna make sure this is down. Now I wanna. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to cut this off. That's okay, I can do it now. That bit I has glue all over it, but that's okay. And the same thing on this side. making sure that corner's tucked in. Okay. So I wanna find all the, I 
little spine folds and make sure that I get them used to being bent. Just like that. Make sure the paper gets in the folds and the glue gets in the folds. It's actually hard to find it. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Next thing we're going to work on is the pocket that's going to go on this side. And that's going to be your piece of paper that measures seven by five and a half. And what you want to do is score it down each side at a half an inch. So place it in your scoreboard with the five and a half at the bottom and the seven on the side. Come on. And scored at that half inch mark on each side. And you're going to turn it and score it at three and a quarter inches and three and three quarter inches, and I've already done mine. Then let's fold all those things in place, making sure they're nice and crisp. So you're going to end up with something that looks, it's hard to see, like this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to snip where the score lines cross. So we're going to snip it there and there, the other side the same there and let me find the other one it's hard to tell on the stripes just like that so then what i end up with are these two little flaps and these two little folds so that when i'm done I'm gonna put that down. This was uh, distressed. Put that side down. So the first thing I wanna do is take my flap, add some glue to the outside of the little flap on either side. And I'm going to glue that flap to the back piece, just like that. And just like that. Then I'm going to take the front piece and put glue down up into the score line, making sure to get the edges on both sides. And we're going to fold that up as if we were almost making a box, kind of an open box. So that it looks like that. Then on your, um, what is this called? Cover, you're going to take this and put it at the largest area and I'm not going to glue it at the score line I'm going to come up ahead of the score line a little bit 
because I want it to be able to close easily. So when I've figured out where I want to put it, I'm going to put glue all along the back here. Take it. And I'm going to put it pretty close to the top. Trying to get it as straight as I can. It's a little more room at the bottom. That's okay. That's how I want it. So that when it closes up, it's going to look like this. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is the little piece that we cut out that was two and an eighth by three and a half. Although I think I have something prettier. I think I'm going to use this instead and going to use that as a little pocket. So instead of this, I happen to have a little piece. Let me see which one I wanna use. That's gonna go on the front. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to place glue around the edge, the side and the bottom. And I'm gonna put it as close to that corner as I can. Whoops, that's not going to work. It's going to cover that. So let me see what I can do to make it fit. That's a little better. So let me re-glue it because I took all the glue off. because I want it to the left of the score line. If you were going to use this piece that we cut, what I would do is simply cut it out like this and then it would fit right in. But I'm not going to use that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take our pads and I've separated them. I've pulled them apart carefully and we're gonna place one right in the center. So, to ensure that it fits and that it's even with the other, this one across the way, I'm just going to glue it right in, just like that. I see a little mess over here. Let me fix that. I can put little cards in here. We choose to use them. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I wanted to glue this on the front. I think that's what I want to do. I might want to use this. That's oh, a little too big. Right on the front, we're going to put glue halfway, but you can take any decorative piece that you have to put there. And these are great because you can put your coupons in here, um, anything like that, any little notes, notes to self. You could put coupons in here. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna punch holes that are going to hold our elastic and put our eyelets in. So this one goes here. Are they cute little stars? Here's one. So I'm going to put this one in. Those of you who have trouble putting eyelets in, I started having no problem with it when I didn't pay attention to having to move the little thing around. I just set it in one place and I use that for every, every one that I make. And since then, I've never had a problem, which is funny. Okay, I'm going to add some elastic and I'm simply doubling it up. And this is about 22 inches long. I'm just gonna make a loop, go through there. See how much I need. And we're gonna need it right about there. Make sure it's tight enough. But I also don't want it too tight. Okay, I think that does it. Trim that off. And there you have it. Just like that. Now what I might do is, um, which I didn't do with the other one, but I'm going to, is I would cover it in uh, Mod Podge just to make it, you know, so that it stays a little cleaner and doesn't get messed up when I put it in my purse. Okie doke. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. They're easy to make. They're fun. They'd make a great addition to your craft fair or to give to a teacher. Uh, maybe give it to her with a packet of notepads as well. And... Um, if when I was a teacher, I know that would make me very happy. Okie doke. And thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day. Bye.